hello everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we're going to discuss introduction of data weave and how you can use musoft data weave scripts to transform your data in your integrations this video will be an introduction of data weave we're going to start with the basics and then we're going to cover some advanced topics in the later videos so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let's get started so let's jump into the very first slide which is what is DataWeave? DataWeave is a programming language designed for transforming data. It is MuSoft's primary language for data transformation, as well as the expression language used to configure components and connectors within Mu. MuSoft was using MEL, which was MuSoft expression language for Mule 3. When they introduced Mule 4, they introduced DataWeave as well. We denote DataWeave with DW 2.0 in the syntax. So let's consider a real life scenario. Let's say I'm a developer and my job is to transform multiple files coming in JSON formats from multiple vendors in a single CSV file with headers. That CSV file can be used for financial reporting or for any other purposes. So to do that in MuSoft, I need to use DataWeave and write a DataWeave script to transform the input into CSV output with headers. As you can see on the right, the input that I received was in JSON format with first name, last name, age as the fields. And the output that I received was in a CSV format with first name, last name, age as the headers and the values populated in those columns. So how can MuSoft achieve that? Introducing MIME types. While DataWeave can handle itself, when it comes to parsing and serializing data, it does need to be told what data to expect and generate. This is done by specifying MIME types for the inputs and the outputs. MIME types specify the data format of a particular document, file, or piece of data. For example, in this case, the input was in JSON format, and the output that we require is in CSV with header is equal to true, meaning we need headers in the file. So that's how you can achieve data transformation in MuSoft. Since this is an introduction video, we're going to showcase you a quick demo. In this demo, we're going to show DataWeave Playground, which enables developers to create mock data transformations in their web browser based on an input payload. And then we're going to export that script in Visual Studio. And then we're going to try to run a test in Visual Studio. So let's jump into the demo. So the first step that we need to do is we need to open our browser and type dataweave.musoft.com forward slash learn forward slash and hit enter. So you will be welcomed by this DataWeave screen. So as you can see on the right, we are in DataWeave Playground where we can test and mock data. And the payload here is auto populated. The format of the payload is JSON. You can change the payload to any of these formats you like. I'm just going to keep it as JSON and there is a script section where you will be writing your data view script. As you can see here, the output was specified as application forward slash JSON, which is the MIME type. And the output here is in JSON format. Hello world. So in the example, the input was in JSON format. So as you can see, now I have pasted my input here. We have a record of two people. One is John and the other one is Jane. And we would like to showcase this data in a CSV format with headers. So what I need to do, I simply need to write a data view script to convert or transform this data in CSV format. So the first step is to let MuSoft know that the input is in JSON format. So I'm just going to type in input payload json and for the output it should be csv with header is equal to true in this case i just need the payload to be converted into csv so i'll just type in payload this is the expected output you can see the first name last name age are the headers and in the first name column, we have John, Jane. In the last name column, we have Smith, Doe. 
and in the age column we have age 45 and 34. So this is how you can convert or transform your data in any format you would like. So the next step is to export this script and try to run it into your Visual Studio. There can be an instance where you want to run and try this in your local using Visual Studio. So have no worries. I'll teach you guys how you can do that. As you can see, there is a button called export. After you click on this export button, a pop up will come, which will say open in Visual Studio code. And it will ask you to unzip the project in Visual Studio. And you also need to download DataWeave extension in Visual Studio. So if you click on this DataWeave extension, this is the marketplace of Visual Studio. You can simply click on install and the extension will be installed in your Visual Studio. I'll simply click on close. And after I click export, a zip will be downloaded. So this will be the zip that will be downloaded. You can simply unzip it by double clicking it. And here you will see a folder called my project. And in my project, this will be the folder structure. And in the DW folder, you will see the DW script that we just wrote here. So what we're going to do, we're going to open Visual Studio. This is my Visual Studio. As you can see, I've already opened the project here. This is my project. And in my project, you have source main DW folder. In this DWL, you have your data script that you just wrote. And in the resources, you will be having the input payload. So since I want to test this in my local, I'll simply run and debug. It will ask me the data view script to run. I'll click on main. And if I open the debug console, you can see the output in CSV format. You will see the headers, first name, last name, and age. And you will see the fields populated in the associated columns. So that was a quick demo on how you can get started with DataWeave script. We're going to go in depth in the upcoming videos. So please stay tuned and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any notifications and videos from us. Thank you so much for watching.